local guitar legend, guitar fabricating legend, Paul Reed Smith, recently Hometown chimed hero. in. <laughs> yeah, recently chimed in, and, and someone who just says things, uh, which is great. Um, he recently chimed in on the Tonewood debate, which I thought was just something that YouTube and like Twitter and Facebook did, but apparently that's what he wants to talk about as well, which is great. And he made some bold claims and referenced a violin as a, a point of comparison, which I find I find it funny to compare something that people don't understand to another thing people don't understand, but that's fine. But what he noted was that if the tone wood of a guitar doesn't matter, then if you're playing violin, you could just put anything out there with a microphone in front of it, and it's Stradivarius is the same as the student special, and that that's... That's why guitar wood matters. Is that yeah, is that was, the gist of what he said? Yeah. I mean, he, he literally said, as long as you have the same mic, it'll all sound the same. But I mean, it's, I understand his attitude and his attitude yeah. to, to a certain extent. I know he, kn- he's forgotten more things about wood than I'll ever know. But he loves wood. His wood library is fantastic. And as a, as a luxury guitar builder, he prides himself. Yeah. And that's his, like, that's where he differentiates himself from other brand like they're they have good woods yeah but I, I i just think that his either he misspoke or it was just a really bad example because the tone would debate isn't about acoustics i don't think anyone out there is saying that Correct. you know the wood that an acoustic is made out of doesn't matter it everyone knows uh, it does that's why uh, you know laminate versus um Versus solid yeah. top, why, why you got the price differential? Because everyone knows that has the difference. The, the, Electric violins the exist, is, and they're like they're like invisible. Like they have, they're that that is literally. He's talking about the electric violin versus an acoustic violin. The argument is, as you said, is is the thing that makes an acoustic guitar sound like a guitar. It vibrates the uh, the face of the guitar, and then the sound comes out, and it sounds like a guitar, and it sounds beautiful. And then depending on the shape and the kind of wood. That's what it's going to sound like. A violin, right. a cello, a, a, a double bass. They all sound like the things because the, the sound waves bounce around the box and make it sound like stuff. In an electric guitar, however, the sound is generated by a magnetic field. Uh, in most cases, the strings uh, touch you know, the, the, the bone nut and then they touch a metal bridge and, that, that, and that's, that's it. And then there's a magnetic field placed between it that gets translated uh, through an amp, and then you hear it through speakers. Our favorite angry Canadian, Glenn Fricker, always promotes that speakers make the biggest difference in your guitar sound. An electric guitar, not yeah, I mean, pickup, yeah, not the not the the tone wood. Tone wood is fake. In fact, he did an experiment where he got the exact same guitar made with two different kinds of woods, and they sounded exactly the same. You know, I, I would even argue that the saddle material probably makes a bigger difference than the wood material on a solid body electric you know that that you can actually get nylon saddles for a les paul and that will make a subtle difference because of the resonance uh, of, Pres- of the string vibration presumably but, but the the, the pure, perhaps but that's, we, we should test that i, but yeah, I think the, but, the, the but, general the thesis like jim will has a video where he is like where does the tone come from on a lot of different things and he has his air guitar where he takes a Telecaster and eventually turns a Telecaster into essentially a headstock and a bridge. And then he puts a pickup in like the middle of two tables and plays it. And it sounds exactly the same. Right. I mean, that's, that was Nonsense. what Les Paul had with the log. I don't think that, that, that Paul Reed Smith doesn't know what he's talking about. He does know what he's talking about. I think it was a, a really, a, a poorly worded anecdote where he, he mentioned that he had like several dozen violin luthiers and he had them all select, you know, one, you know, from one tree, you know, find the the best back that they're going to use. And they all selected right. the exact same back. And it's like, well, yes, they're selecting for an acoustic instrument. They're, they're not buying, they're, they're not building, Correct. you know, do, do you remember what was it? Uh, Young Einstein with Yahoo Sirius. It's a bad no. movie from 88. Tell, tell me about it. it it, it, the 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 gist of it was it was highly fictionalized account of Einstein growing up in the Australian outback. But one of the things is that he he played the electric violin. Electric violin is going to be different from a Stradivarius. So and, I'll, and, and in a similar way, again, I think there's differences when you think about like 
a solid body versus a hollow body. That's going right. to give you a difference. Again, that's the, the kind of, that's the, when we're talking purely solid body electric guitar. You know, again, you're, you're going to get differences from a pickup. Things that are related to electronics, I think, give you your biggest swings. And yeah, maybe there's minor variations in your your nut or your saddle. You're dealing with electrical signals. And so get pedals, you know, minor tone. Right. EQ pedal is going to be what you're looking for to, to fix that. 